Namaste, my dear friends. A frequently asked question to me is, is yoga still relevant in today's times? Especially considering that it was developed many, many thousands of years ago. My answer is very simple. It is more relevant than ever. Now think about it. When yoga was developed about 2,500, 3,000 years ago, the people who were living at that time were actually quite healthy because only the fittest survived and also they did not have the modern medical facilities to treat them from various kinds of illnesses. So if they were healthy and strong, they survived. And if yoga was relevant at that time, it is still very much relevant today. And this is because yoga is not just to merely address our physical health, but also more importantly, our emotional, psychological and spiritual well-being. In modern time, we have other technologies like fitness, aerobics, gymnastics, cycling and other forms of sport to keep ourselves physically fit. However, there is not many avenues that people are entering where they can keep up with their emotional, psychological and spiritual well-being. And that is where yoga has a very important role. And I would encourage everybody to consider yoga to fill up this vacuum in their lives today. Yoga has not been developed for our physical body and it was not developed during good times. In fact, the history says that Patanjali evolved yoga at a time where people were suffering from three major problems. Physical health problems, emotional psychological health problems and communication problems. It was called the dark ages. And we are living that now. There are more people sick than we can imagine. There are also much, much more mental and emotional health problems that is occupying our interest today. And of course, people have a lot of communication problems. And I think that is why yoga is still as relevant today, in fact, more relevant today than it has been in the past. So don't give up on yoga, my friends. Use yoga as an anchor to guide your life through the modern day challenges by finding a competent teacher who is well qualified in not just the physical aspects of yoga but also in yoga as a way to help us find some clarity and calm in our mental and psychological states as well as help us guide through our path of spiritual evolution. Namaste my dear friends.